Melons are refreshing and delicious fruits that you need to be growing in your garden. They are sweet and juicy because of their high water content, making them a perfect choice for hydration and a healthy snack. This video will explain how and why you should be growing these wonderful fruits in your garden. Melons require specific conditions for optimal growth and fruit development. There are many varieties of melons, so you aren't limited to watermelons and cantaloupes. Choose your melon varieties based on your climate and personal preferences. Watermelons and cantaloupes can get quite large, and since it is usually only the farmer and me eating the melons, we don't need an 8 to 40 pound fruit. I like to plant varieties that produce small fruit, one or two pounds, so that we don't have much left over and are always eating them fresh. Another benefit of small melons is I can train them to grow up a trellis, saving garden space. Heavy watermelons need to spread on the ground or they will break the vine before they ripen. This year I'm growing Kajari melons, Tigger melons, and Delice de la Table melons. I've grown Kajari melons for years and they are one of my favorites. I originally purchased seeds for this two pound melon from Baker Creek Seeds years ago, but I've been saving seeds each year for the next growing season. Ripe Kajari melons have a bright red with cream and green stripes and a pale green flesh. I think it tastes like a cross between cantaloupe and honeydew, and I will always have this growing in my garden. The second melon I planted in my garden this year is the Tigger melon. This one is new to me, and I purchased these seeds from in my gardener, who describes the Tigger melon as a super small, very sweet melon with yellow and rust red stripes. It will have a creamy inside and very small seeds, and the melons are no more than one pound in size and have the flavor of banana, lemon, and cantaloupe. I can't wait to try this melon. It sounds delicious. The third melon I've planted this year is the Delice de la Table Melon. I'm sure I butchered that name. It is also new to me and I also got the seeds from in my gardener. The melons will be one to two pounds each and will have a ribbed pale orange exterior with orange flesh that will be juicy and very sweet. Again, I am excited to try this new melon. Melons thrive in well-drained fertile soil. Prepare the soil by adding organic matter such as compost or a well-rotted manure. I started seeds indoors about four weeks before my expected frost date, but the weather didn't cooperate and kept dipping into the 30s, so I didn't plant my seedlings outside until this past week. They were about six weeks old at that point. If you're growing along the ground, space the plants two to three feet apart. If training them up a trellis, you can plant them a bit closer, about 18 inches apart. Trellising melon vines can also provide better air circulation and prevent diseases such as powdery mildew. Don't forget to mulch the ground around your melons to keep moisture in and decrease the growth of weeds. Melons require consistent moisture to develop properly. Water deeply, but avoid overwatering as it can lead to root rot. Apply a balanced fertilizer when the plants start to vine. Follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to mix it. Melon flowers must be pollinated to set fruit. Invite pollinators such as bees into your garden by planting flowers all around your garden. Aphids, cucumber beetles, and squash are not a melon's friend, so inspect your plants often for these pests. Planting zinnias, dill, and nasturtiums close to your melons may help control these nasty bugs. Melons should be harvested in the morning when the temperatures are cool and stored in a cool, dry place or the refrigerator for longer shelf life. You will know your melon is ready for harvest when the stem easily detaches from the fruit with a gentle twist. In fact, Kajari melons are ready to eat when they fall off the vine on their own. This can damage the fruit, so when the melons start getting about the size of a softball, I attach a net bag around the fruit and hook it to the trellis so when the fruit lets go, the bag can catch it. Melons have a high water content, about 85 to 90 percent, making them excellent for combating dehydration in the summer. While there is some variation in the nutritional numbers between varieties, on average, 100 grams of melon will provide 36 calories, 9 grams of carbohydrate, a half a gram of protein, and only 0.1 gram of fat. They are a good source of vitamins A and C, potassium, folate, beta carotene, and lycopene. Eating cold melon with or without salt is delicious, but have you ever thought about making melon salsa? Create a unique salsa by combining diced melon, red onion, jalapeno pepper, lime juice, and cilantro with a pinch of salt. Serve this sweet salsa on tortilla chips or as a topping for grilled chicken or fish. Another way to be creative in eating melon is to add chunks of it to a bowl of lettuce greens, mint leaves, and chunks of your favorite cheese to make a great summer salad. 
Drizzle this with a balsamic glaze or your favorite dressing. Or blend ripe melon chunks with Greek yogurt, a splash of coconut water, and a handful of spinach for a nutrient-packed smoothie. This smoothie provides a refreshing and healthy way to enjoy melon as a meal or a snack. And it's a sneaky way to get your children to eat their greens. Thank you for stopping by the Old Mayfield Place today. Stay healthy. Are you a salt or no salt melon eater? And have a blessed week.